I'm John Law, this is Chasing Cars, but today we're chasing dogs. So in today's video, we're taking a bit of a different look at Hyundai Motor Group. Instead of looking at cars, we're gonna look at one of their future mobility solutions, Spot the Dog, which is a Boston Dynamics development, but Hyundai bought a part share in the company a couple of years ago, and it's now sort of come under the banner, and it's being rolled out in Hyundai's factories in Korea and other parts of the world as a safety monitor. But it's also sold to other private companies as a safety monitor, inspector, and that sort of thing. This thing here costs about 75,000 US dollars, but to get the extra packages that we're gonna to demonstrate today, such as the dancing and that sort of thing, it costs a little bit more money. We're gonna take Spot the Dog down to the park in the Hyundai Nexo Fuel Cell EV and see just what he's capable of. So we're off taking Spot the Dog to the park in the Hyundai Nexo, which in itself is actually a really cool thing to do. I haven't driven a hydrogen vehicle before, um, but Tom Baker has, he's driven this and given it a full review. So if you wanna check that out, then it's on our YouTube channel and I'll pop a link to it up in the top corner. But I'll give you the basic rundown while we're here. It's got a 120 kilowatt electric motor at the front. It powers the front wheels and it's got about 395 newton meters of torque, which makes it pretty nippy, but it has a very different feeling to a pure battery electric car. It feels a little bit more car-like in the power delivery, a little bit smoother and more linear rather than that same sort of punch you get from a battery EV. But enough about this car, let's take Spot the Dog for a walk. Right, so we're here at the park with Spot the Dog, a quadruped robo dog. And what we're gonna do is test out a couple of features, starting obviously with a little stroll through the park. Now his top speed's 5.6 k's an hour, and I'm currently controlling him with his little Android tablet controller. Now unlike real dogs, he doesn't leave poops, but this isn't really his main application. He's really about business usage, and so we're gonna test a couple of things, including his ability to climb stairs and get over tricky objects and find his own way past obstacles. All right, so time to tackle some stairs, which is actually remarkably difficult for a robot. If you've ever seen a video of Asimo, Honda's robot falling over on a set of steps, you'll know how funny it is when it goes wrong. So we're gonna see if Spot can do it right. It's pretty simple to do on this little controller. I just press Y, it's very much like an Xbox controller. We spin him around and up he goes. Which is pretty impressive, I reckon. And if he starts to slip, the cool thing is that he can sort of self-learn about what he's doing and just walk on up. So there we go, easy done. I reckon we come back down the stairs because as you know, if you've used stairs, it's quite difficult. Now to do that, we have to go backwards and you can see he's sort of sensed what's going on there. And he's struggling a little bit. Just let him stop, whoa. But he righted himself. Look at that. And off we go. He's learning as he goes. Now he's not totally artificial intelligence, but he does have the capability to learn and ride himself. And I mean, it's pretty cool, if a little bit freaky, but yeah, I reckon that stairs has got a tick of approval. So let's try some boulders. All right, so the boulders were a little bit wet for us to want to destroy the $75,000 US spot. But what we're gonna do instead is see if he can navigate through these obstacles. Now, he uses his cameras and his LiDAR sensors to detect obstacles in front of him. So I'm just gonna to touch on the screen where I can see the cameraman and he's gonna make his own way through. How cool is that? And even better, if I'm controlling him with the controller, as I will do now, he knows and can sense when he's coming up to someone. So when he sees the cameraman, he stops. Now, if he's a good boy, he'll sit when I press X because he's not voice activated, though that would be really cool. So we're gonna have Spot dance next to me in just a second, but as cool as a dancing robot is, it is also something we've seen before. Not to say that this isn't a really good dancer, as you'll see in a second, but the real cool thing about the Boston Dynamics group, Spot the Robot, is that it can have open source software, which means you can program things into it, including stuff like floor plans of a building or uh, the fiducial code, so it knows exactly where to go in a building when it's carrying out its duties. Now you can see it dancing next to me, of course. It's about to get pretty cool in a minute. But um, yeah, it can even do stuff in theory in the future, like going down mine shafts to rescue stuck miners or going to disaster zones or nuclear zones and that sort of thing to do what it needs to do or even just survey. So 
I'm just going to let it dance now, exit stage left, and uh, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit subscribe below the video. And thanks for watching Chasing Cars.